Well, that toy gun may already be under your Christmas tree. And this morning, New York State's Attorney General announced multiple stores and websites are selling illegal toy guns. And tonight, WNY finds out some simple ways for you to make sure that presence is legal. WNY Samantha Potter talked with local stores and law enforcement to find out more. Samantha. Jennifer, cease and desist letters were sent to major retailers like Walmart, Kmart, Amazon and Sears for selling illegal toy guns because they look too much like the real thing. At first glance, this looks like something that could be found in a war zone. But with the stroke of a keyboard or the click of a mouse, you can own one just like it. The weight, color and mechanics all make them seem real. I mean, if that was pointed at a person, and let's say a law enforcement officer, seeing that barrel diameter, he would have to assume that that's a 9mm or a 40 caliber and not a BB gun. And that's a problem New York State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman has with these realistic looking guns. During an investigation, Schneiderman found several major retailers like Walmart, Amazon and Sears all selling these illegal toys to New Yorkers. Any hesitation could be deadly for the officer. I mean, he's going to hesitate several seconds to try to determine whether he's looking at a real gun or a toy gun. I mean, that, that could be the difference difference between life and death. According to New York State, any guns with realistic colors like black, silver or aluminum must have a one inch orange stripe running down both sides of the barrel and on the front end. But another problem law enforcement are running into is the disguise of real guns inside fake guns. You might not notice, but what looks like a super soaker squirt gun is actually holding a shotgun inside. I think the danger is the hesitation that might be caused to officers who hesitate to see or to try to distinguish if it's a toy or not. Some toy stores like Imagine That and Corning choose not to sell realistic guns because of the violence they provoke. I have no interest in anything that, that feels overly violent. Um, I think there's enough of that in, in children's play. I, I wouldn't bring it in. It's not something I'd offer my kids. For information on how to report the sale of these illegal guns, please visit our website and click on the story. Samantha Potter, WENY News.